Welcome to Hoi An, the most beautiful ancient city in the world. I travel up north of Vietnam to eat food that only available here in Hoi An. So let's sit back, enjoy, and see what Hoi An has to offer. Welcome, guys, to Let's Eat Vietnam. Hold on, hold on, let me stop real quick. Uh, okay, you guys wondering, what is this for? Well, right now we at Hoi An, the most beautiful city in the world because all the lantern and everything like that but you want to wear the hat i'm trying to fit in you know with the, everybody all the logo my name is fee i'll be your host and we will be eating in hoi an today we're going to try something new something fresh and something good hopefully it's something different while well, you're in the saigon right a little bit sunny right now so this have a good i'm gonna ride off to the neverland okay so hey bring, bring me i'm gonna ride off to the neverland okay so you wait for me. See you at the food place. So this is banana pancake street food in Hoi An. So how she make this is pretty simple, actually. She put a little water, a little sugar, a little salt in a bowl with a slice of banana, a really, really thin slice of banana. Mix everything up. Put a little oil on the pan, then cover with pancake. Then that's how we make. And we'll see put a little syrup on top, you know, make it look all nice. A little, a little fancy. You know, on the street. A little fancy. But anyway, we're gonna grab some of these, head over there and eat it, and give you guys a review for it. Was that look good or not? Thanks to her. Let me film her, but let me taste this real quick. So y'all know all pancake, what is pancake is already, you know, a little fried thingy, but this banana pancake with syrup, like with strawberry syrup, and with egg and some other stuff. It looked delicious. I never had it, so I wouldn't try it because it's Hoi you know. Food up here is a little bit different than the one in Saigon. It tastes exactly like banana, fried banana. And uh, you know, it's a good reasonable price, 20,000. About like a dollar, well, maybe less than a dollar, 90 something cent, but uh, for the real for this, like, it's good, like, it's random street food, you can go wrap around, like, I wish I know the location. I don't know the location, okay? I just know it's in Hoi An, okay? So you can find her somewhere in the street. I don't know, but it's good. So I give the review about, uh, I give it a three and a half, three and a half, like, it's good, but it kind of tastes like fried banana with syrup. All right, guys, so we about to go find this famous bunch of place in Hoi An. I'm in the middle of the corner, so it's like located somewhere in this street. I don't know what I'm looking for around, but it's really popular. I think I'm over there. Took me at least an hour trying to find this place, so I hope it's worth the time and everything like that, so I hope it's good. Here it is, Ban Seo in Hoi An. Ban Seo is one of the most popular dishes all over Vietnam, from the south to the central and to the north, and all of them make it differently. All the locals put their own spin on how to make the Ban Seo, but here she make it smaller and she make it her own style that no one other place in Vietnam make it. She been running for 10 years. Everything make it right outside her house. Even she put the chair, the table, everything people can sit outside and enjoy it. Open kitchen, let people see how she made it. And I can't wait to dig in. We're in this back alley it's called Bell Road Garden. This place got famous on YouTube, so I'm doing the same thing. Come here, eat with YouTube. So you come here, you don't order nothing. They just throw it down for you. So all this right here, they just throw it down, like bunch and stuff like that. Let's just throw it down. Gotta get some coke first though. So let's begin this thing. Yeah. So she showed me how to do it because it's my first time. This is professional here guys. She owned the place. She owned the place. Banana. Okay. Come on, go. Oh. <laughs> Come on, go. Wow. <laughs> she just feed me. That was hilarious. She rolled and everything. Get a little thingy, little bend. This is a good roll, okay? 
Dạ cảm ơn rồi. <laughs> so the way you make it the bánh xeo is the same way you make the with the with the meat and stuff like that. Yep. This. Oh, cái này bự ha. Cái này cầm được đấy. Thank you. So this is the same way you make the the spring roll with the bánh xeo. <laughs> These are good. These are good, though. I give it that. I'm gonna try it right now. Wow. This is good. I never had this bunsen kind of before. You, you wrap it around and everything like that. Bunsen is really crunchy. And this echo right here. Really good. For the price. Bao nhiêu vậy? Oh, I'm gonna buy. I didn't get that review on it, but with this, make crunch in the bánh xeo and the meat. This is A1 right now. The sauce well made too. For this rice paper right here, this is not your regular spring roll paper. It's really crunchy and everything. It's like totally real melt. But that was awesome. So I'm gonna enjoy this, then I give you back the review in a minute, okay? All right. So that's what the bánh xeo here. It was. I think I like it. It was good. This meat right here to go with the little pork thingy. That was really well cooked. I liked that. That was a 4 out of 5 from Greta. But, but overall, experience. I said the myself, not the best, but I had better at the hotel make it better. But I give it like a 4 out of 5 for the myself and for the. I think the. 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 with the. well wrapping thingy. I give it also a 4 out of 5. It's good, not that perfect. Still looking for that perfect fry. Anyway, but this whole experience was cool. You get a wrap bun sale with the meat, with this, they put the sauce, good. This place like, pretty good though. It was famous for online, you know, like this. You can look at them on YouTube. All this, the description is gonna be in the link below. You can find all that. But um, yeah, I like this kind of thing, walk around trying to find like a local-ish kind of place. Look for a nice place like this. I give it A plus. I have a hard time finding this place, but finally find this like in a really corner. So you might wish, tell me right now, you do trying to find this in the end, it's in the corner, okay? So anything, anyways, if you like the video, you know, subscribe, click the bell button, you know, leave a comment, you know, tell me what you want to see next, and I try to find it for you. But if you don't, I can't help you, I'm just kidding. But trying to think, until next time, you don't have to take my word for it. Mm. Just you. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall.